High blood pressure is a significant problem and can lead to heart attack, liver damage, and kidney failure. Often people don't know that they have high blood pressure until a certain amount of damage is already done. When your blood is pressing against your artery walls with too much force, you get high blood pressure. Because of this, your heart and arteries have to work harder, which may eventually damage your heart muscle. Furthermore, it might result in the formation of tiny tears in the artery walls and the accumulation of fatty plaque. Fruit is generally beneficial for people with high blood pressure, but there are a few things that you need to be aware of when it comes to fruit. So today, we're going to explore the five worst fruits for high blood pressure, including a fruit you should be aware of if you're taking any medication. And if you enjoy drinking fruit juice, we'll cover a few guidelines to keep you on the right track. But before we continue, can you do us a favor? Click on the thumbs up and help us spread the word about heart disease prevention. And ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to make sure you get the latest info so that you can live a long, healthy life. And stick around to find out how to get two heart healthy free gifts. We guarantee both you and your heart will love them. Okay, number five, canned fruit. Canned fruit is often packaged in syrup, which is high in sugar and can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels. This can be especially problematic for people with diabetes or other conditions that affect blood sugar levels. In addition, canned fruit often contains added sodium, which contributes to high blood pressure. A study published in the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health found that while eating two to three servings of fresh fruit daily correlated with a 10% reduction of death, eating canned fruit was actually associated with a 17% increase of premature death. The study of 65,000 adults was based on survey data, so a casual relationship could not be established. However, experts are clear that added sugar poses an enormous threat to blood pressure and heart disease. Dr. Oyin Lola Oyabode released a statement saying that most canned fruits contain high sugar levels and cheaper varieties are packed in syrup, and that the negative health impacts of the sugar may well outweigh any benefits. Canned fruits are also often less nutritious than fresh fruits, as they can lose some of their vitamins and minerals during the canning process. Overall, canned fruit is not a good choice for people with high blood pressure or other conditions that affect blood sugar levels. Fresh fruit is a much better option for maintaining healthy blood pressure levels. Number four, ripe bananas. Bananas are one of the world's most popular fruits and have been eaten for tens of thousands of years. However, Ripe bananas can be bad for high blood pressure, as ripe bananas are high in sugar and can cause your blood pressure to spike. Bananas that are still green or that are just beginning to ripen contain resistant starch, a prebiotic fiber. The prebiotics, or good microorganisms, that reside in the gut eat these indigestible prebiotics. These advantageous bacteria in the stomach are crucial for digesting and have also been connected to immunity, brain function, and other benefits. But as the banana ripens, the resistant starch breaks down into natural sugars. Because of this, a banana that is more ripe is sweeter than one that is just barely ripe. Bananas are also high in potassium, which can be good for controlling high blood pressure, as potassium dampens the impact of sodium. However, High potassium foods can interfere with some blood pressure medication and heart medication, so talk to your doctor if need be. Likewise, people with kidney issues need to take care with high potassium foods. So, if you're going to eat bananas, eat them while they're less ripe and slightly green. Number three, grapefruit. If you have high blood pressure, grapefruit can be bad for you if you're taking medication. Grapefruit can interfere with the absorption of some medications, including statins and drugs given to people with high blood pressure and diabetes. Grapefruit is healthy, as it contains a good dose of vitamin C, 
potassium, and other nutrients. However, it doesn't mix well with medication. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, grapefruit allows a higher dosage of medication to enter the bloodstream, which can lead to side effects. That's due to the enzyme CYP3A4 in the small intestine, which metabolizes these drugs. Grapefruit can block this enzyme, which leads to more of the drug entering the blood. Grapefruit is unique in this way. This applies to drugs subscribed for high blood pressure, some anxiety medication, some antihistamines, and a number of drugs prescribed for heart conditions, as well as various other medications. If you're taking any medication, ask your doctor or pharmacist whether you can safely eat grapefruit. Now, on to number two. A food that has snuck its way into our lives and is often considered healthy, but it's not that simple. But before we get to that, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of the untold story of heart disease, something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. Now, back to our final two worst fruits for high blood pressure. Number two, some fruit juices. Now, you may think drinking a fruit juice is healthy, but juice is not the same as fruit in its natural form. When a fruit is juiced, it loses much of its fiber. The lack of fiber means the sugar in the juice quickly absorbs into your bloodstream, causing spikes in blood sugar levels. Orange juice is the classic example. Oranges are rich in vitamin C and nutrients, and as a result, it gets a reputation as a healthy drink option. However, without the fiber, what you're drinking is essentially a glass of sugar. Tomato juice is another one that experts warn against if you have high blood pressure. That's because tomato juice often contains high levels of added salt, which is bad news for people with high blood pressure. Excess salt can damage the lining of blood vessels. It can also interfere with the body's ability to regulate blood pressure by affecting the function of the kidneys and the hormones that controls blood pressure. High salt intake is linked to an increased risk of heart disease and stroke. However, if you want to enjoy the odd glass of juice, you do still have options. A 2021 study published in the European Journal of Nutrition found that cranberry juice and cherry juice may improve blood pressure, and pomegranate juice is believed to help lower both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Pomegranates have been thoroughly researched in relation to blood pressure, and studies on humans and animals suggest that their unique antioxidant profile is beneficial for reducing hypertension and improving artery health. A final juice worth noting is beetroot juice. While it's not a fruit, beetroot juice is worth mentioning because it's so chock full of vitamins, minerals, and unique plant compounds. Beetroot is a fantastic source of dietary nitrates which are known to reduce blood pressure. Nitrates occur naturally in food, and some can be damaging for health, while others can be beneficial. Nitrates that make their way into drinking water from fertilizers and farming are bad for health, for example but the nitrates that naturally occur in beetroot are incredibly beneficial. Like most places in the world, Sub-Saharan Africa is currently struggling with a high blood pressure crisis and turned to beetroot as a functional food therapy. A 60-day study carried out there concluded that beetroot may be a practical solution for lowering hypertension and cardiovascular disease. So, as you can see, the juice conversation isn't so black and white. Experts generally recommend whole fruit as a much better option, as it contains all the fiber your body needs to prevent blood sugar spikes. And while many juices like orange juice should be treated with caution, other juices like beetroot, pomegranate, cranberry, and cherry juice have shown potential benefits for people with high blood pressure. If you're going to drink any of these juices, just be wary of any added sugar or salt. Number one, crystallized 
and candied fruit. While dried fruits may actually be beneficial for the heart, crystallized and candied fruits are a whole different story. That's because crystallized and candied fruit tend to have a ton of sugar and sometimes salt added to them. Dried fruit, such as raisins, have simply had the water removed, meaning that what's left is the same as when it was fruit, with the same makeup of fiber and nutrients like heart-healthy phytochemicals. A number of studies have in fact found that dried fruit in moderation can support healthy blood pressure. Prunes, for example, have been shown by studies to support bowel health and contain antioxidants that may help to lower blood pressure. On the other hand, candied or crystallized fruit will contain a ton of added sugar or even worse, high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is a common additive in food today. It's used as a sweetener in processed foods. It's made from the cornstarch that has been treated with enzymes and is a lot sweeter than sugar. Plus, it's cheap. High fructose corn syrup has been linked to a number of health problems, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and high blood pressure. Some studies have shown that high fructose corn syrup can raise blood sugar levels more quickly than other types of sugar which may lead to an increased risk of diabetes. High fructose corn syrup has also been found to increase levels of triglycerides, which are a type of fat that can contribute to heart disease. But whether candied fruit uses sugar or high fructose corn syrup, it is adding excessive amounts of sugar to your diet. Popular crystallized fruit includes ginger or lemon. Crystallized ginger and lemon is made by boiling them in sugar water. For reference, two lemons will require around one cup of sugar. That's a lot of sugar for a treat that's often perceived as healthy. Popular candied fruit includes apples, strawberries, and cherries, popularly known as glace cherries. A 100 gram bag of glace cherries contains around 68 grams of total carbohydrate, including naturally occurring sugar and added sugar while 100 grams of raw cherries contain around 19 grams. That's more than triple the amount of sugar that gets into your system. The thing is, people often think that these foods are healthy because they're fruit at their core. Yes, you're going to get some nutrients, but it's important to be clear that candied and crystallized fruit should be treated like candy. Occasional foods that do impact blood pressure and heart health and can contribute to heart issues. So, there you have it. Five of the worst fruits for high blood pressure. We have canned fruits, ripe bananas, grapefruit, some fruit juices, crystallized and candied fruit. So, what do you think? Is there anything on this list that surprises you? Do you have any other foods to add? Leave us a comment and share it with the Heart Disease Code community. And remember to get your two free gifts. The surprising truth about fat and cholesterol and the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Just click the link in the description below to get them. And remember to like this video and click the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date as we release new videos. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you have a happy and heart-healthy day.